classic rock. Classic rock. Classic rock. I, 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 Classic rock. Classic rock. Oz, man, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart taking time uh, to talk You're to welcome, you. You're welcome. Welcome. This new album, Scream. Uh, excuse my my language. I know you don't like cussing, but it's a motherfucker, man. <laughs> I have been playing this since they uh, they let me hear it. I mean, this thing does it. It it is a return, almost. It parts to the classic Sabbath sound in places, but it's still. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when I, when we, when we started work, doing the album, we had no. I didn't have a plan of what I wanted to sound. It just materialized that way. It's very. Well, oh, a lot of it. Just Kevin Shirkham, my producer, was very, very. He's a very clever guy, you know. Now, did you did you go for the Sabbath, the darker sound on songs like Crucify? Or? It kind of materialized that way. Just, I mean, at the end of it, I thought, fuck, you know. <laughs> but, you know, I've got my own studio, so I didn't have to go very far. Um, it, was, it was just, it just kind of happened, you know. I mean, after when it was all completed, I thought, wow, it sounds like Sabbath, you know. But but, but, but I, I use a, a system called Pro Tools, which isn't digital, it's not tape. And, uh, and, uh, I've been hearing for you can't get a heavy heavy sound and you know it fucking don't work. But you know, my, my Kevin proved them all wrong. I think. I think you're right, man. Now I have to say, Ozzy, a friend of mine that I've known since he played with Ted Nugent is now your drummer, Tommy Clefettos. Great drummer. Oh fuck! I think now I don't know. I don't want to make too big a statement, but I think he may be the best you've ever had behind there. That's some big names you've had. You know what? I think you're fucking right. I think you're right because. Uh, we were down at rehearsal yesterday, and it's so his meter is so fucking perfect. I mean, I mean, he's such an exciting player to watch as well. He's fucking unbelievable. His meter is um, it's, it's just so you could set your fucking clock to it. <laughs> it. It is, but now you've got another guy in the band that everybody's talking about, of course. Which is, I mean, this is the first recording you've done without Zach Wild for years. You got this Gus G guy who I'd never heard of before. Well, I, uh, I mean. I don't want anybody to get them be mistaken and think that Zach and I fell out. We never ever fell out. We never will fell out. You know, I knew that eventually I would have to get a permanent replacement because he's got his own band. He doesn't need me anymore, and he's 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 fucking great. Zach is, and so, and so when he, early on this year when uh, Zach got sick with um with uh, some blood clot in his leg or something, mm -hmm. and so I thought, well, uh, you know, he just now is now is, I got I. I'd, I had the book to write. I had a good, you know. Now is the time to get the book written and also find somewhat of a permanent uh, guitar player replacement. I mean, uh, it, every time I get a new play, it's that much harder for the next guy because uh, they've got to, they've got to um, um, replace the legacy that I have. I've had some pretty fucking great guitar players for my career. Now, Ozzy, where do you rank? Now, I know it's a new album, and you're you're promoting it, and you gotta you gotta say he's great, and he is great. But where do you put Gus G? Is he more of a Randy, more of a Zach, more of a? Jack? Well, yeah, it, it, at this at this, at this, I don't buy. He's not like any of them right now because uh, he's got a, he's got he's got. A, I said to him yesterday, you've got a lot of fucking work to do, man. And he knows that. He didn't want to be compared to any of my previous guitar works. It, 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 you know, I go. Uh, He's played that like Randy, but Randy was, you know, he, he, he's, it's very hard for him, you know. I don't, I, he's just a fine player right now. One, one, another thing you've got to take into consideration, that when I, when I get another, a new guitar player, he's got to, he's got to, he's, he's got to run in the gauntlet, you know. He's got to find himself, he's got to, you know. And it's got to be scary as fuck for a... Because, <laughs> I mean, my fans are, you know, if, if they don't like him, I, and I said to him, you've got to be... But you've got to be vigilant. He, he's, he didn't want to be like Zach. He doesn't want to be like Randy. Not, you know, he play, he's going to play, be playing their parts at times. But, you know, he's a, you know, I do hope that people give him a fair crack of the he, He's not Randy. He's not J.K. Lee. He's not Tony Elm. He's not Zach. And he doesn't want to be, you know. And you allow him to, to find... You've always well, allowed you know, him. You've got to understand one thing. He's not only got to be a great player. I've got to live with this guy on the road. I mean, I've had players step in for a while and, and um, you know, suddenly find God and fucking don't want to play with some Satanist audience or something, you know. Mm -hmm. all, all kinds of other girlfriend wants to fucked up with a milkman or something, you know. Now, Ozzy, 
I, I had a thought. I mean, I read in your book. I loved your book, but I read it, and you know, you talked about that you're really trying to to get a hold of the clean and sober thing right now. Now, did that have any decision with letting Zach go? Because he is a wild man. No, no, no. I mean, uh, as far as I know, Zach's not drinking anymore. Oh, really? So I've heard. I, well, I, don't, I don't know if it's true. And I, I've met him a few times since so we were out to dinner, and we, his wife and my wife, and he wasn't drinking when I was with him. So I, I don't know. I, I mean... It's, it's none of my business, if you, you know. I, I hope he's all right. <laughs> this album, you were very involved in the writing process, maybe more so than you have clear back since when you wrote with Randy, man. Does that is that fair to say that you were more involved in the writing? No, I mean, uh, um, uh, Kevin Cherko, the producer, was the, the main main uh, guy that pushed the buttons and got the production sounds and all this. I was, I just uh, I just was like a. Uh, uh, you know, I, I put my influence on it. You know, but uh, I, I, I mean, it, 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 I didn't. Uh, one, the one thing I had on this album, which I haven't had f- forever, the luxury of time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, 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 I mean, usually I get off the road, take a short break, uh, uh, write some stuff, go and in the studio, and I got so many weeks to do an album. And that's what I did. So on this album, I started it, stopped it, and then I went on, and then I went on vacation to Italy with my wife for a while. Did some work with Slash and a couple, a couple of live things with Slash, uh, and um, came back, went back in the studio, broke off again to do, write the book with, with uh, uh, my, a ghostwriter, um, and uh, and it was just like, I stopped and start, you know. So so I mean, Kevin was the one that lived and breathed and fucking. I mean, I gotta be honest with you, I'm not one of these guys that can sit in the fucking studio for four days. And just listen to a fucking tambourine being <laughs> whacked, you know. It just drives me fucking nuts. But I'm, I'm fortunate you know, enough to have met uh, uh, Kevin, who, who's one of them guys that lives in the studio. Very patient, man. I, couldn't, I haven't got the patience. I just want to go. On. But the, the, the thing that I learned from this album was that, you know, a studio album is not what I'm about really so much as uh, in the old days I used to go and rehearse the songs of the band get a, a bit of a pattern and go down in the studio where we were mainly constructed in the studio this album was like Kevin would put the, the, he plays drums on the album Kevin Shoko okay and he, and he plays a little rig guitar a little bit of piano a little bit of everything really and and, and then the, my band came and played after the foundations have been put down apart from Tommy Tommy was would come right at the end uh and I did a couple of uh, showcase things last year with um, a computer. I did a show with the uh, Gus and Tommy at a computer convention thing. Now, you know, this album, like so many others, you got songs like Crucify and Digging Me Down, Oz. Ozzy, you know, it's just, it's kind of that religious thing coming back around, in your opinion. No, it's, it, it's, it, you know, I'm one of these guys. I mean, I, 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 I Digging Me Down came about was, um, I was watching this document. I don't, I don't really watch my... Uh, and, like soap operas and what I'm fucking I like to watch documentaries and I was watching this documentary about the, the moon landing thing and one of the astronauts said you know one thing this is one thing that struck me when, when I I was on the moon he said I looked back at earth and it suddenly dawned on me we've only got one earth and then I thought well isn't it, oh, isn't it weird that we've got one planning but there's so many different religions they all have one god and every one of their gods is better than my and the next god and then, and then i suddenly thought you know the christian the christian religion i'm a, i was christian boy i say that jesus christ is going to come back and i thought to myself how bad has he got to get for this guy to come back <laughs> why has he been back before already or uh, and gone again or, how, I mean, how, how, how do we know you know that he, he's going to come back what what fucking sign have we got? You know, if it, I mean, I'm sure people down in the Gulf of Mexico right now would think that's a bad mm-hmm. enough thing with all that oil spewing over the fucking place. <laughs> and you know, I mean, the state, just look at the state of the world. You know, it's weird. Rock, classic rock. rock.